What are you doing there, Dad? Oh, trying out the seed here. I'll tell you what. See, before you could take your hand, you could stick it between your lower back and the back of the seat. But with that added foam, now it's nice there's support for the older driver. Back to work on our Triumph TR4 seats here. We got a lot of good information from uh, viewers and from the forums on how to do this. It does seem like there's about as many different ways of doing this as there are people who answered. So we're just gonna kinda do like a best of, hopefully, and uh, start putting our uh, upholstery kit on. So stay tuned. We did get a little bit of extra foam. This is about like a half inch thick. So the goal here is to kind of pad out all the metal parts of the seat that would otherwise have the vinyl uh, wrap touching them directly. So that's gonna hopefully help with the shape and then also help with not having the vinyl kind of abrade against the metal surfaces of the seat over time. So on the bottom here, we've got a little strip that we're just gonna glue uh, it'll have to be two pieces because our vinyl's not quite long enough, but we're just going to glue that right onto the frame here. And then we're going to trim it uh, when we're done. So that's what we're working on now. Um, then after that, we'll be putting the top pad on. So that'll be our first step. Once we get the foam in place, then we can put pull the cover over the foam and kind of see how that looks. All right, the foam's around the outside of the bottom here, pads it out really nicely. Now we gotta get this seat bottom in place. Before we do that, we need to get this burlap material attached, and that's gonna attach to the bottom of this seat pad, like so. So we're gonna go a little overkill with this burlap material. We're just gonna cover pretty much the whole bottom of this seat. We're just gonna glue it down, and then uh, we'll flip it over and see what that looks like. is now in place. We got our first test fit of the base cover here. And so far, pretty happy with how it turns out. There's only one uh, thing I think we need to work on. And it's, it seems like this the burlap material in the corners where it's kind of folded over has uh, left these little bumps. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not. Uh, let me peel back the cover real quick. So you can see like here where we kind of pleated the corner that seems to show through as a little bump in the cover. So we're gonna go back and kinda pull some of that off and clean it up just to really smooth out the cover. The foam on the base really looks nice, pads out the bottom, and just really makes it look overall like a nice padded seat uh, versus before when you could definitely see the frame and stuff under there. So we're really happy with how that turned out. So we'll fiddle with that a little bit and then hopefully get the cover on kind of for final-ish. Uh, we'll go from there.
Okay, I think uh, third time's a charm here. So this time we added some of this cotton batting. Uh, just a little strip here that went kind of in this area. And that has almost completely hidden like the seams between the foam and the pad and everything. You could kind of see all the internal stuff before, but that padding right there, which we thought was very strange, is actually just the ticket for getting this nice and smoothed out. And we are super happy with how that's looking right now. We're going to let it kind of sit for a while. We're probably not going to put the clips on for like final fit today. We're going to just let it sit and kind of get accustomed to its new home. Uh, with these temporary clips, we use just uh, binder clips, or I guess Dad likes to call them darkroom Dark clips. clips, but... Uh, it's another story. <laughs> uh and so that holds it real nice. You just kind of fold it under the edges here and uh, clamp it. So I think we can keep working, kind of start looking at the, at the back. The only other thing I'll mention right now is that we never got around to gluing the actual foam pad to the framework, but I don't think, it really doesn't seem like it's too necessary. Maybe we're making a huge mistake here. I don't think so though. Like there, this pad is not, gonna go anywhere it's held very securely by the cover and so i just don't see that being something you really even need to worry about i think it looks good the way it is i hate to take it all back off and glue that foam on in the wrong place or something so we're just gonna leave it just like that and it's gonna be okay All right, seat back is roughly in position. A couple of things to note here. First off, I don't think this is usually done. We are gonna put some of this burlap fabric on the back of the seat where it hits these uh, metal parts to kind of help with abrasion on that. It also, it's almost like it kind of holds the foam together a little bit and just, just makes it feel a little bit more solid when you have this on there. So I like that. Uh, we're gonna have to buy some more for the second seat, but I, I want to add that to the back of this seat as well. The seat foams normally come with this little cavity in the back, and we did some kind of test sits last week, and uh, it just seemed like you your back kind of uh, fell into this hole in the back. So uh, to alleviate that situation, we cut a little piece of this foam to fit uh, in here and we're just going to glue that in place. It really made it, I think, a little bit more comfortable and uh, also a little more comfortable for some of the older folks in the audience. <laughs> it's a little more lower back support for the older driver. <laughs> cover loosely fitted. The back is definitely a lot more finicky to get right than the bottom. We're not quite there yet, but I think we have an idea of what to do. We need to glue the foam to the framework, so we're gonna have to take this all back off again, but you can kind of get an idea of what's involved here. We've got a lot of clamps and things going on here. It's pretty ugly. There's a little flap back here. We weren't 100% sure where this goes, but it makes the most sense to pull it down and clamp it to this bottom rail here. So I'm pretty sure that's right. Otherwise you end up with like an open space right here on the seat and it looks kind of bad. But overall, I, th I think we're pretty close to where everything needs to be. So we're going to just kind of start slowly working towards having it fit up final here. Another thing to mention here is we did put 
more of this cotton padding around the whole outside of the seat and around the back to pad this out a little bit, uh, which we were very successful with down below. So we did that up here as well. So the first thing we did was feed that bottom tail on the back cover through here, and then we stretched it around and pulled the top and the bottom tight so that this back part is tight against the foam. So we started with that. Now we can work around and get the sides nice and tight. But we're starting in the center, and then we're gonna kinda alternate back and forth and get the sides nice and tight. Ooh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> This little flap of vinyl is a little bit of a mystery to me as far as what you're supposed to do with it, but I've just kind of folded it under the back pad and then kind of tucked this back around so that it's not, uh, so that it doesn't get folded underneath everything. Uh, and then I'm also padding this out just a little bit with some extra cotton batting and that's because the piping from the seat bottom kind of shows through the top. So a little bit of extra padding in this area is kind of nice to have just to get a smooth finish uh, overall. And then you pull that tight like so. There it is, that is as far as we are gonna take it today, and here's why. We wanna just leave this kind of temporarily in place so that the vinyl can stretch over the next week and just kinda of get, get familiar with its surroundings. And then next week we'll come back and just make sure that everything still looks good and there's no po weird poles or anything like that. And then we'll get all of these weird, uh, random, well, let me drop a few of them, uh, clips and things put on there, we don't actually know where how those work either. Um, like, for example, if anyone knows what where this one goes, you drop a comment down below, let me know. But we are super happy with how this turned out. We're gonna have a little celebratory beer, probably a little premature, but uh, yeah, come back next week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.